Hey, Shalom, giving all glory and praises to Yah by Shimei Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of the GMS, Great Millstone, peace, and mercy, and grace to the household of faith. Welcome back to another lesson. Uh, it's impromptu. I just wanted to uh, highlight this uh, report from this is John Williams. As the title says, it's starting bankruptcies explode, highest layoffs in 15 years, worst job market in 19 years. Um, pretty much the elites are done with this system. And they, um, they they collapsing it in real time in uh, preparation to roll out the next one. So let's go ahead and play it. And I'm going to bring out a few scripts, Lord Will and this Elephant. Hey, what's up, guys? Lord John here. Elephant. Layoffs have exploded, the highest point in 15 years. Cisco is said to be going through another round of layoffs. Intel, one of the biggest employers in the East Valley, announced that they're laying off 15% of their workforce. Amazon is cutting hundreds of jobs from its cloud computing division. UPS, the company said it plans to cut thousands of jobs in a bid to save $1 billion. And the job market, finding a job, it's the hardest in 19 years, according to Challenger Gray and Christmas. This job market is like the crazy that I have ever seen. Unemployed full-time workers apply to an average of 30 jobs, only to receive an average of four callbacks or responses. This post just came out about an hour or so ago, or two hours ago, 247,000 views, now 269,000 views. Everyone is talking about what's happening right now with the job market. This is a brutal layoff. But what people don't realize is what is scheduled around the corner over the next 12 months, according to Goldman Sachs. If you have a job, if you're a business owner, you have to pay very, very, very close attention to the chain of events that are already solidified. This is already going to happen. There's no way around it. You need to get ready for this because everything is about to change. I mean, look at bankruptcies, for example. Bankruptcies, their filings have rose by eight last week, the second highest week in 2024. Companies are filing for bankruptcy now at the fastest rate since 2020. And Beyond filed this year, Party City filed, Vice Media, Instant Pot, and Pyrex. By comparison, Q1 2022, bankruptcies were 60% lower at 980. Higher interest rates, rising prices, declining consumer spending are all behind the surge in bankruptcies. I'm going to show you what Goldman says comes next and why I think we're gonna see a scenario unfold where assets are gonna hit the market. Homes, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes. We're gonna see people. Mm. Yeah, cause um, like uh, Schwab then prophesied, they said by 2030, you will own nothing. There won't be a such thing as ownership anymore. So, you know, buckle up, you know, it's, it's, it's about to get there. Well, letting go of their cars at record levels, they're gonna have no choice because people aren't gonna have the cash. But during those panic periods, there's gonna be massive investing opportunities for those that are prepared. Please hit the like button when you do. YouTube will share the content, educate more people about what's really going on. And today's video is sponsored by Solar Bank, but more on that in just a little bit. Take a look at this. So even Nicki Minaj, they're announcing more at this. So even Nicki Minaj is joking about it. This came out today. Uh, Nicki Minaj makes jokes about Atlantic Records massive layoffs. I mean, Everybody's talking about this. Cisco, for example, two hours ago, they're announcing more layoffs. GM, 20 hours ago, issuing layoffs. Even John Deere's laid off 300 an hour ago. IBM, Warner Music, United Health, laying off 160. All this is the last 24 hours. Paramount laying off, that's two days ago. So as this is unfolding, let's look at the Magnificent Seven. You know, the seven stocks that are essentially holding up the entire stock market. Six of the seven are laying off employees like there is no tomorrow. I mean, the only the only exception presently is NVIDIA. That's the You know, what's interesting about these comments is people, even in the spirit of saying um, the worst is yet to come, it ain't, it's going to get worse. And it's funny because uh, beginning with our leadership, we've been we've been talking about these days and people was, was saying you're doom and gloomers. That'll never happen. It'll never be that way. But shit is here, man. And that's how you know that, um, as the scripture say, a prophet would have been amongst you because when the when the things that the prophet says come to pass, then shall you know. So since I'm already here in Ezekiel 33, I'm going to read that and I'm going to jump up to uh, the precept I was going to get. It says uh, Ezekiel 33 and uh, 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another. Every one to his brother saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the word of the Lord coming what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord? And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with a mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their, their covetousness. And lo, 
Thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been amongst them. So brothers that's out pushing the word, all you have to do is keep on pushing the word because you're getting the blood off their off your hands by warning them, even though they're not listening. All right, the watchman's duty. Verse one, again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for a watchman, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood should be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his, his soul. Yeah, so those that actually take heed to the warning, like the warnings we're giving, we're not telling you to move out the country or, you know, stock, stack your, your paper up and you, you're going to deliver yourself. No, we're telling you that the Lord is doing these things and really you need to repent and you need to get in the spirit of the Lord so that you can <laughs> so you can get through it, through these situations, through the spirit. Right. Verse six, it says, but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he has taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So keep keep watching, bro keep watching, brothers. Keep reporting. Now, got another one I want to bring out real quick. Second edge of 16 and um in 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils come verse 19 behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent for as scourges for amendment excuse me but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges so in the midst of this great tribulation of layoffs this is a scourge, right? This is a scourge or an amendment. Um, this is a scourge for amendment, and and um, most um, most Jakes ain't gonna catch on to it. They're not gonna amend their ways. The right? Only one. So Tesla, more. they as of December thirty first, they had one hundred forty thousand employees, letting go of fourteen percent of the workforce to one hundred twenty one thousand, basically slashing twenty thousand jobs. You have Microsoft laying off jobs you know, as of the last couple of weeks. I mean, they're getting ready. To, uh, to continue the layoffs, Amazon, they're saying that you have to come back into work in the office. Now, you know, people might think that's a good thing, a bad thing. Regardless, their job and their goal and their task is to remove as many workers that they don't need as possible without paying severance, without paying you know, employees to, to leave. If employees just decide to leave, then that's a great thing for Amazon. So in January 2023, he said the number of layoffs would amount to more than 18,000, right? So they're, they're calling it silent sacking. This is uh, apparently what Amazon is doing. So you look at everything happening on Amazon, you look at what Meta is doing, Meta layoffs continue to impact advertisers. The company replaces account team members with AI. Apple, same exact thing. I mean, we have mass layoffs, hit tech, 27,000 jobs, Intel, Cisco, IBM, and Apple. So Apple, I personally believe Apple's iPhone, the new iPhone, their sales are gonna fall in a big way. And when you look at, because how many people are going out there looking to spend 1500 bucks on a cell phone right now? You look at Warren Buffett, he unloaded so much Apple stock. I think because he knows also that things are not gonna be looking good for Apple. Right? He's also unloading a lot of other stock, Bank of America and different companies, because I think he realizes things are about to really flip in this economy. Uh, Intel slashing 50. But some gov governments and corporations for the first time in history have the power to basically hack human beings. There is a lot of talk about hacking computers, hacking smartphones, hacking bank accounts, but the big story of our era is the ability to hack human beings. And by this I mean that if you have enough data and you have enough computing power, you can understand people better than they understand themselves. And then you can manipulate them in ways which were previously impossible. And in such a situation, the old democratic system stopped functioning. We need to reinvent democracy for this new era in which humans are now hackable animals. Yeah. 
So they 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 moving forward with these plans, and, and this is not the clip I wanted, but this is the guy where he basically said, with the AI and the technology, there's no longer a, really a need for this many people on Earth. So they have big plans of reducing the population and um, moving forward with uh, the desirables, which is a you know roughly about ninety percent um, less of the the current human uh, population right now. And so they, they they plan on doing this with the remaining uh, the remaining with the balance that survive right that survive all these evils uh, which the elect are gonna survive but a lot of people uh, won't so you know the the economy is finished it's a wrap Ecclesiastes and it's a wrap because they done with it and, and the Lord is ultimately done with it too he's uh he's a, he's hastening the end you know he's about to uh, send his son back to to, to deliver the elect. So this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now that created in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the, draw, the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves. Yeah, and the keepers of the houses are trembling. Um, these, these different e economists, um, these, these uh, finance people, you know they they're looking at the numbers, they're seeing the data, they're reporting the layoffs. You know they 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 they're uh they're confused. They don't know what this means. They they they're uh, projecting um, recessions, depressions. Um, you know, and we're forecasting destruction. And this place is done. You know, this whole thing is is this setup is is a wrap. It says the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and the grinders are the workers. So. It's not a lot of work for the grinders anymore because technology um, and AI is here to replace you. It says, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, right? So those that are looking and seeing these things, you know, they they pretty much are um, in a in a in a you know they they're troubled by these things. Meanwhile, we we see these things and where our spirits should be lifted up, right? Because this is the Lord doing the thing where he which he uh you know which he prophesied. That he would perform in a lot of days and he's doing them so rejoice it says verse 4 and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low <sighs> excuse me at a late night deal but um the door shall be shut in the streets man these businesses are done speaking of isaiah 20 might be 24, I'm thinking. Isaiah 24 and verse verse 10, it says, The city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion is talking about Babylon. It says, Every every Babylon the great, which is the, the United States, it says, Every house is shut up that no man may come out. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And people are, uh, are experiencing anguish. You know, they, they want to go back to... Um, the way things used to be, you know, the, the party, the, the having extra money when you get paid, um, you know, uh, being able to, to get, uh, you know, weeks of groceries for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, you know, when them, them days is gone, it's over with. This is this is Isaiah nineteen message to Egypt. Isaiah nineteen and verse five, fifteen. It says, "Neither shall there be any work for Egypt." which the head or tail branch or rush may do and uh there is no work for egypt people are applying 30 30 jobs and and, and barely hearing back from from four people you know what's that about then then they say that um, a lot of these jobs they not even like companies are putting they putting them jobs out there uh, just to put them out there they already have somebody but they're putting it out there pretty much to kind of shake their current staff up to make them think that they're looking for people to make them produce, uh, make them work more and work harder to be like, oh shit, they looking for somebody else from my position. Let me, let me kiss ass and work harder. This place is a, is a joke. So that word for work is uh, my my sha, which is deed work labor. Yeah, there ain't no more labor. They brought in the immigrants, you know, Hispanics is, is here, so-called Hispanics here, taking all the jobs, you know, giving uh, a cheap work. Then you got AI replacing a lot of these jobs and positions, man. It's a wrap. 
what, what you gonna do with three hundred and fifty something million people ain't ain't working, or a good deal majority of them ain't working. What you gonna do with these people? It's gonna be socialism. It's gonna be uh, communism, man. <laughs> it's gonna be giving out um, a universal. Matter of fact, let's look it up. Let's get an update on it. Cause last time I did an update on it, they was calling it guaranteed income. It, they started calling it guaranteed income, a universal basic income. Two hours ago, Pope Francis has become a surprising figurehead in the universal basic income movement. How about that? How about the false prophet himself uh, promoting UBI? Sam Altman's world coin turns into turns your iris into a code for UBI. Nine hours ago. So so UBI is, is hot in the news right now. Oregon voters to decide on ballot measure to give every resident 1600 that has sparked, sparked massive opposition, opposition fundraising. UBI, 23 days ago, um, three days ago, should the government guarantee everyone a minimum income? And this is also why they're using women with this, too, because all the women are going to say, hell yeah, 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 yeah. they they going to they gonna support that shit. So... Meanwhile, we like, no, you ain't got to give us that bullshit. Let us just go out and, and get our own money. We'll get it. You know, we'll get it on our own. We don't need your handouts. But they, 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 they yeah, this shit was smart, man. You know, we dealing with the serpent, bro. The serpent, that, that serpent analogy is real, man. You could tell it's, it's dealing with people. You know, we talked about the serpent back in the, in uh, Genesis, the third chapter. It's talking about people, talking about men, you know, and, and who, who are uh, wise and uh, wickedness, man. Craftiness. AI universal basic income, labor or leisure, the why universal why universal basic income might foster well being but not productivity. Um Okay, so yeah, they they talking about it. Cause the last on the last report I did on the topic, you had um St. Louis, you had Sacramento, you had Kenya. Um they all had like uh their little projects that they were they were working on it and trying to you know see how it would work and trying you know experiments with it but i think that uh probably going into 2025 as the, these uh layoffs hit that this is gonna get probably introduced on a more mainstream level uh 2020 20, 2025 so we'll see what happens but i'm curious to, to go into this one with uh pope francis which i'm finna probably come back and, and look into this in, in the next video so with that, I think I hit all the precepts. It's probably some more on that Isaiah 24, but um, Isaiah 24 and 7, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, and all the merry hearted do sigh. Yeah, everybody. And y'all still, oh, matter of fact, even in the holidays, man, the so-called holidays coming up. I, I noticed last year and probably the year before that too, I didn't, I wasn't hearing all that. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy Thanksgiving. I wasn't hearing all of that, man. People ain't in that spirit no more. Cause cause those days ain't married no them, these times ain't married no more. They're not married. People are hurting. People ain't got it. So, you know, blessed are you that are that are rich in the spirit, man. And um warn to you that receive your cons consolation on this time because it's a wrap. All you celebrities out there. All them, the, the, the little riches that you got for selling your soul, man, that shit, ain't, you ain't going to be able to cash that in for nothing. You're about to stand here and, and, and face destruction All right, with, with Babylon the Great. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, man. I don't want to rant. So pray, pray, excuse me. Hey, I only slept three hours last night. I'm I'm tripping. But I pray this was an edifying lesson. On to the next.